Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torn, and welcome back to Victoria 3 as we are playing Witch of Han. So, in today's episode, we should be finishing up this war with Korea and China. In fact, the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and send General Kujo over to this front where we're attempting to advance. We had him defending our homeland, which was necessary uh, when the Russians were patrolling the seas, but uh, now that they've been out of the war for quite some time, we could have sent these guys over here a long time ago because there's no threat to our homeland, and that's 44 units that could come help us out. So we'll send them over there. The war will likely probably take a little while longer uh, before it actually ends, so he might get over there in time to, to fight, but it's, it's going to end soon. And then I already know what we're going to be doing once the war finishes up. We actually have a, a little bit of a crisis that we have to take care of. Now, I've already uh, set up a bunch of stuff to construct. That's one reason why we are running so low on money, because as you guys can see here, uh, we're having some bureaucracy issues. So I went ahead and set up some administration buildings to get constructed. And it looks like we're actually failing over here. We just lost territory. Hmm, wait a minute. Okay, it looks like there's multiple fronts that we created. Okay. I see. So th this front has split again uh, because we got a little pocket over here. Now, I'm curious why this is the one that's getting uh, pushed back since they have more units. What we need to do is take probably the 22 that are here, which we'll have to wait until after they're done with their current battle. This is something that we might want to make use of. Glass is not really that big of an issue. But I think it is a little bit low. Let me just double check on that. Look at these uh, prices here. Porcelain is the main problem we're having. But yeah, glass is a bit high. That's what I meant to say. I think I said low earlier. But uh, yeah, we could we could switch over to that. So the only problem here is going to be uh, oil and lead. Where are those prices at? Yeah, see, oil is kind of high too. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to wait until uh, we deal with this crisis. Basically until after the war. Because again, we have some... Some major issues in our country that we're going to have to deal with. Alright, so now we have 60 units on this front. Okay, th that's fine. Yeah, they're just kind of moving around a little bit. I, I don't care. Remember, this, this war is just about over. They're going to give up here pretty soon. Doesn't really matter what we do at this point. We can't, can't lose it, you would think. We gotta take more territory, I suppose, to get them out of it quicker. But yeah, here you are. We're seeing we're, we're losing here right now. Okay, so that's a bit of a problem. Oh yeah, so that's why I was gonna move this one unit over there. But yeah, we can't really do that at the moment. So what we could do is take one of these guys and move him over here then. Because I think we're doing a pretty good job uh, defending over here. So the question of which one should we send. I guess we'll send him. Send a few more units over there. And we're still going to send the one that's over here as well. Okay, we can actually do it now. Yeah, make sure that we don't uh, lose there because they're actually advancing along this front. Causing us all kinds of problems. The front is an absolute mess over here. Uh, and it's also been, the territory has just been absolutely ravaged. Which is a pretty cool element to the game. I like the, uh, the way it's visually represented. As far as the destruction in the territory. Got another piece offer. I'm assuming this is just going to be another white piece. Yeah, which we will not be accepting. Yeah, there's no way we would accept a white piece after all this. Which I'm not entirely sure why the AI is responding with that. Considering, like, the fact that we have very much won this conflict. I mean, it's not really debatable who's won this. But yeah, they're advancing as well, and I assume that that's just weakening them. They really should be staying on the defense and causing us more casualties. But yeah, they're going to stick in this basically all the way into the end. Which is a shame because sometimes they give up when, you know, it's it's becoming really costly and and there's really no reason to, to keep going. Uh, we took a look at the, the sheer casualties of this conflict. I mean, we, we are very close to the number they've faced. Now, this doesn't count Korea, of course. Or, excuse me, it doesn't count Russia. So we've actually done a lot more casualties. Because it does count the casualties we took from Russia. Looks like we finally sorted out that front. Alright, so we might have to look at our generals and see where they have moved to. 
But yeah, the, the number of wounded is what's really insane here. 1.45 million. And then the cost of the war, of course, they've paid almost double what we have paid. All right, so we need to take a look and see where all those generals move to because we finally wrapped this up over here. So what I'd like to do is continue to advance right here. I don't know if it's going to actually be necessary to move any more units over there to defend because we are doing just fine there. Let me see, are they advancing here? Yeah, they are attempting to advance the front here. So we want to make sure that we don't let them, but again, I just don't think they'll be able to. Whenever we're on defense, we're absolutely fine. So I say leave the 146 over here advancing and see if we can't push forward there. Again, it's it's largely irrelevant, but I mean, it helps. Helps end it a little bit sooner. I'm hitting the unpause button and it's not working. My uh, pause has been a little bit sticky for for a while now, unfortunately. I need to get a new keyboard. This one's really old, but I really like this one. Uh, I'm not big on the mechanical keyboard. You know, I know the sound's not great for recording all the clickety sounds. Some people don't like it. Some people actually enjoy it. But what I like about this keyboard is that it has a function that allows me to switch the WASD keys with the arrow keys. Really helpful for Hearts of Iron 4 since Hoi 4 does not allow you to move around the screen with WASD, unlike all the, the newer Paradox games or pretty much any strategy game out there. Uh, so we got those destroyers. Uh, this is another thing that we'll have to wait to enact until after the war is over. Although, of course, we could do it now, I suppose, but considering the fact that the uh, the fleet isn't actually uh, fighting. The Chinese have like 15 ships. Uh, so now they've moved over here, and we don't actually want to advance that front. So what I think we're going to do is let's go ahead and move those guys over to here. And let me see what this... Uh, so Kujo is the, the defender. We'll leave him defending the front. And then we're going to move some of these units to go attack. Not sure which ones yet. We might let him defend here. So he'll stay here and defend. But any uh, like more offensive-minded guys like him are going to come over here. Just kind of rotate these around. Just based on their, their traits. And he's a hero, so yeah, we want to move him over here. He's the hero of this war, apparently. So we'll move him. Uh, I think we're still on this front, right? Yeah. Uh, so we currently have four units still over here. This guy's coming to defend the front. So I'm thinking maybe leaving Cujo here. Yeah, I think we'll leave Cujo here to defend as well. And then let's have him come over here to advance. And maybe that'll be enough to push the front forward. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see. Yeah, 84, un 84 units was enough over there, and we finally got them to capitulate. So that took a while. That was a long conflict, guys. A really long, costly conflict. Uh, costly both in, in money and men. Uh, we did lose hundreds of thousands of people, unfortunately. And uh, it's definitely affected our country as well, because that's the crisis that we're dealing with. Is is actually a labor crisis. Uh, part of that's from the, the casualties we took and the, uh, the wounded as well, because those become uh, dependents that can't work. And then in addition to the casualties... We also just been building so much. And so we're actually facing a severe labor crisis. And let me just show you guys how bad this is. Uh, we'll pick something that you can build pretty much anywhere. And, of course, this is the new territory we have. So, uh, obviously, all that has a lot of peasants. But if you don't look at those five states that we just got, look at how many peasants we have available. 27,000 here. 4,000 here in western New Guinea. And uh, 1.75 thousand in Solomon Islands, and that is it. Everybody else, every single other state, is completely out of peasants. And remember, we didn't conscript any units, so this isn't a matter of like conscripted troops needing to go back to the, go back home to their work. Uh, we only used our standing army, so we have completely depleted our uh, our labor force in our country. Something we never did in the United States campaign. We never actually ran out of labor. Uh, with the exception of, you know, certain states that didn't have much labor to begin with, you know, like what we're dealing with with these islands over here. Now, given we never actually got this far in the game either, you know, we're over a decade past what we got to in that uh, U.S. campaign, so that's playing a major factor too, because this is, you know, the, the 20th century is when you really start having labor issues. So we're going to close that up, clean this up a little bit, and... 
let's go ahead and figure out which one of these states we're going to want to turn into an incorporated state. So it looks like just the capital for right now. And we'll see how long it's going to take as well. That's an important factor too. Uh, the one reason why this might have a drop in urbanization, somebody uh, suggested this in the comments, is that they were using their, uh, their conscripted units. So those conscripted units might have left and then that would have resulted in a uh, urbanization drop in a little bit. But yeah, we should uh, be able to get them up to level five pretty easily. The problem here, of course, is look at that bureaucracy cost. Good God, uh, because of the 5.13 million. So we, uh, we're doing pretty good on bureaucracy right now. We got a ton of it, probably because we got a bunch from these states here, but clearly not enough. Because uh, yeah, we're having some taxation issues here. Well, really, there's not that many government administration buildings here. Now, I did build a few, as I mentioned in the beginning of the episode. I was building a few of them as well, so that helped. All right, so basically, we're going to need to expand the government administration buildings, probably in all these states due to the low taxation capacity. We might let a week tick over. Yeah, let's let a week tick over, just kind of adjust to everything that just happened with us uh, gaining control of all Korea. And we're going to need to... And what's up with the uh, shortage in the barracks? Oh, opium. Okay, so we, we need to go through all of our uh, new barracks here and get them changed up. Uh, we can go over to siege artillery. I don't think we had that until the war started. Uh, we cannot do motorized reconnaissance just yet. We're going to have to stick with the... Well, we can't do bicycle messengers. Well, you know, actually, we were doing that already. I was going to say that, that the rubber would be a problem, but I think we're already doing that. Uh, but yeah, we want to... Switch over to just wound dressing here with all these. So yeah, we'll switch up the conscription centers as well. All right, excellent. So shouldn't have any problems there. And pr frankly, all of our production methods are gonna need to be adjusted at this point. I don't think that's worth the ammunition right now since it does have a penalty associated with it. And because we're facing this crisis of labor, which isn't gonna go away just because we have this new territory, uh, you know, some of those people might move over to our uh, places and, and work. We're going to have to build here as well. We want to get the urbanization up. So I think what we're going to do is switch up all the production methods throughout our entire country. This is going to be pretty drastic, which look at how many radicals we just got from, from Korea. Yeah, that's a lot. It's pretty bad. Probably because we're discriminating against them. There's also the recently uh, conquered uh, 8.16 million yeah, so that's the the main part of it, of course. I'm not happy about having been conquered. And that's a lot of people. Uh, we just vastly increased our population. 74.1 million. Unfortunately, GDP did not go up that much. Uh, the standard of living went down as expected. All right, so let's go ahead and get all these switched over. So with the railway cars, one problem with this is you get all that transportation that we don't need. Let me just see what they're currently... I think we'll just leave them wherever they're at right now. Yeah, we're just going to leave them wherever they're at. You know, there are advantages to switching over to this. Um, most importantly, the, the clerks and machinists that we don't need anymore. But yeah, transportation gets too cheap. Uh, and then the infrastructure, I think, would be a huge problem. So let's not switch over to that right now. And we'll just leave this as is, however it's set up right now. And we will go to the publicly traded here, though. So get that switched up. And yeah, we're just going to have to go through all of our production methods now. And I don't know if we're going to want to switch over to this right now. Yeah, we'll just keep that as is. But yeah, we're going to definitely want to go over to any uh, automation that we can to try and uh, get some more of our labor back. So like over here, this is going to be extremely costly, by the way, in electricity and tools. We're going to see some severe shortages there. Uh, we'll just have to deal with it. Our, our society is just going to have to suck it up and, and deal with it, guys. Because look at this. We're going to get 142,000 laborers back. And uh, we could just switch some of them at a time rather than doing this so drastic with every single building. But uh, I don't care. <laughs> we're going to do them all. Uh, we're going to do them all at the same time. Though, we might not want to go for anything that's uh, a resource that we, we lack, like the oil there. And the coal as well. Um, so that's something to consider too. We can do anything that we can build, like tools and electricity. But if it requires coal or oil or whatever, then we're going to want to uh, 
be more cautious with that. Uh, but let's take a look and see what resources we have here. Uh, because, yeah, we're going to get coal. And so that'll fix our coal issues. Yeah, they got a ton of coal here. So coal should no longer be a problem. Because, yeah, we're going to have all that, that coal here. Just seeing what else we got. Uh, wood is another thing that we needed that it looks like they have a, a little bit of. So, yeah, we'll make use of that. Uh, they already got some art academies over here. I wonder how pop consumption is going to affect our market, you know, from all these uh, Korean pops. I and mean, we'll take a look at this, you know, once we do all these switches, because there's going to be a lot we're going to have to do here. But, yeah, we can switch over to the coal. Again, we, we won't have the coal now. Again, it's going to be huge shortages across our country. Yeah, that's another one we won't be able to go to. The oil, unfortunately. Yeah, we should get like a ton, an absolute ton of the uh, laborers out of here. Assembly lines, that's another oil one. It's already switched over to that. We want to switch everybody over to the steel tools. So basically any... Uh, you know, building that they have here, we'll probably have to switch their production methods up as well. And yeah, we'll go with the coal there. Just make sure every building is doing around around the same thing. Yeah, we're gonna have huge coal shortages, guys. But I don't care. We can always trade for it temporarily. No, we don't want to do automobile production just yet. We already got enough huge changes going on in our country. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the the steam ships for everybody here. And I don't remember what we're set at for here, so we're gonna go with the extensive military shipbuilding for now. We can always make an adjustment if we have to. All right, so all that looks pretty solid. The urban centers, we want them all doing the same thing as well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we're set up on here. Were we on covered markets? I want to say we probably weren't. And that would be a huge drop in, in money. So let's just go to this for right now. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not because I don't know what we were on. But I know we were on the electrical streetlights there. So we'll switch over to that. This would greatly reduce the amount of laborers that we need here. And would step up the transportation need. Hmm, that could be interesting because then you could switch the, the railroads over. The art academies, we never actually did uh, switch over to anything here. We could do that. This would result in more uh, fine art and services production. So yeah, we're going to switch over to that. Uh, right now we're on traditional patronage. I think we're going to switch over to the bourgeoisie uh, patronage. Power plants are good to go. Government administration, we want them all on the standardized filing system. And that'll get us some more of that bureaucracy. And I believe we we're keeping them on the administrative clergy for right now. And I think we had the clerical educators, and we keep that as well. All right, so we are completely done with the urban production methods, but now we got to do all the rural ones. This is going to be fun. Uh, switch them all over to fertilizers there. Oh, this will get us a ton of, of labor. The question is, do we want to do the coal here? I don't think so, guys. I think coal would just be too bad at that point. We couldn't even fix it. Because we have so many rice farms. I got a ton of rice farms. Go ahead and go to the slaughterhouses here as well. Uh, the electric fences, that's fine. I don't know if we were on this before. Electricity is clearly going to be short. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. Go over to dynamite here. The uh, steam donkey. Rail transportation, I think we're actually going to do that. Yeah, I think we're going to do that in the coal mines. Again, we're just making drastic, massive changes to our society at this moment. And, yeah, we're going to switch all these up. Rail transportation. Looks like they didn't have any sulfur mines in Korea, so no problem there. But yeah, we should no longer have any labor shortages outside of those islands, of course. Those problems aren't going to be fixed by anything we're doing here. So there was cotton plantations. Yeah, we will go ahead and switch up all the all the plantations to the rail transportation. And that will give us reason to maybe switch up the, the railroad situation. Yeah, maybe we'll do that and then build more railroads and stuff. 
I think that could be beneficial. We never did switch the sugar plantations over. Uh, their their ownership method. So yeah, we'll do that with them and the banana plantation. I think we didn't do that because of the extra. You know what? We didn't do that because of the extra labor that would be required from our colonies. That was the problem that I was concerned about. So that's why we didn't do it. Go with the electric sawmills here. Hardwood production. I don't think we want to do chainsaws everywhere. One problem though. If we switch all those up, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'll switch it all up. We already know that we're going to have huge shortages. I mean, our, our uh, economy is going to be an absolute mess, guys. Uh, yeah, get the steam trawlers here. And yeah, the electricity is going to be stupidly expensive. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, welding stations probably don't want to switch over. Probably just leave where whatever they're on now. We're just gonna leave them at that. And yeah, I think we're good to go here. All right, fantastic. So we switched all them up. So now let's go back into the development. And what I'm considering doing, if the transportation is expensive, is going over to one of these passenger carriages ones. We'll have to take a look and see where we're at. Uh, obviously, money is a severe problem right now and that's gonna be like that for for some time uh we can't really do anything here yet we just need to wait let's let's let our economy adjust we're gonna give it a week obviously this is uh pretty bad here uh so let's go ahead and go into oops my bad into the economy and see exactly what we're short on so transportation is short okay um so that was not surprising uh, the, the problem here is when we go to this, uh, we're going to have severe infrastructure issues. Like severe infrastructure issues. But I think we're going to do it anyway. Well, let's see how short the transportation is before I do that. It's really, really bad. Okay. So yeah, we're going to need to build a, a ton of railways, basically. That's okay. So we'll switch over to that. Again, it's still going to be probably pretty bad. Yeah, it's still pretty bad, but not nearly as bad as it was. Uh, but the, the biggest issue here is, of course, coal. So we need to prioritize coal. We're still building a few things. Coal should probably be prioritized. Some of this is almost done, though. All right, let's let them finish this up. And because we're going to need so much, we should probably step up production here in a minute. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff we're going to have to do now with, with all these uh, changes that just happened. Uh, how are we doing on legitimacy? All right, so we're already at a lower level here. So we can go ahead and get rid of the bonus that we're getting and go ahead and go up to the lower taxes because we need money. I don't think we'll go to the medium taxes. I think that would be too crippling to our people. Let's go to low taxes for right now. And that'll get rid of some of that uh, huge negative that we were having there. And then, yeah, we're going to need to step up uh, construction as well. Although that's going to result in some extra construction. All right, so let's just let them get some of the stuff done over here that we're building. All right, excellent. So now we can finally start some production. And I think what we should start with is going ahead and getting some more construction sectors. So yeah, we're going to start with that so we can build a bit faster here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go up with, I don't know, thinking went up to level 20 with those ones, those locations. And they don't have any labor right now, but that's about to change. Look at all that. Well, it's all unemployed right now. So you won't be able to see it here because they're, they don't go into peasants. They become unemployed. So yeah, we got tons of labor. You just can't see it easily, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we'll go ahead and, and step it up by, I don't know, I almost want to build them fully up. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it all the way up here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then maybe even step up in some of these other locations as well. All right, so that looks pretty good for now. Uh, where are they at here? You know, we might let them get a little bit of bonuses too. 
Because, yeah, now we can make use of our uh, massive bonus here, though we're actually depleting it some now at this point, the investment pool. But we have 290 million, so it's going to take forever to deplete through all that. So it's not really that big of an issue. We can also declare more interest. A lot more. So let's go ahead and go with Anatolia and Eastern Europe. And yeah, I guess we'll just continue in Eastern Europe here. And then we'll do Egypt. All right, excellent. Let's get those added on there. And now we got a, a ton of stuff we need to, to fix. So it's gonna be coal next. I guess we can let this let's, let this play now since we at least got everything uh, constructing. Uh, all of our uh, construction sectors being utilized. At least until we build those new ones up, which I didn't put those at the top. A lot of stuff we were almost done or really needed or whatever. These art academies probably don't need to be prioritized. But whatever. We need a lot of the other stuff. But yeah, our economy is going to be uh, hurting for some time, guys. And that's just to be expected. And yeah, we're going to need a ton. Absolute ton of coal here. So let's just go ahead and build a bunch of these. Is there anything else that's actually short? It's just the coal. So I think we should prioritize building coal. Yeah, we're gonna get all this done here. And I mean, this is the place that has the most, let's go ahead and get all the way up on these ones. Get use of everything they have here. And then we'll see where we're at at that point. I assume it'll still be short because there's you know such a huge uh, difference here. And we're actually utilizing all that right now. Okay, so you know what, we can go ahead and build a bit more. Yeah, let's go and step that up to, to 30 then. And then we'll see where we're at. Uh, also, rubber plantations, if we can get those, we should. Same thing with oil, we need more of that. All right, so let's go and see what else is really short. Uh, wine's not actually a problem here. And we got the feminism. We could trade for this just to kind of deal with the issues. But you know what, I don't, I don't even want to do that. I think we're just gonna let her pop suffer. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna let her pop suffer. They'll be alright. And I think we're gonna want to make use of some of the new locations that we have here. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and build up here. Cause yeah, they have all those those peasants and all those unemployed. And we're trying to urbanize them further as well, get them up to level five again. And you know what? We might want to go ahead and start building in all these locations with the tool tooling workshops. Again, just for the purpose of urbanizing them. I think it'd be worth it to uh, to do this. And where is this one? It's all the way down here. What we should have done is sort of this by peasants here, and then it would all be at least somewhat close to the top. Okay, there's them right there. So we'll get them up to level 10. Whoa, my bad guys. Get them up to level 10, them up to level 10 as well. And this will serve to, to urbanize these areas for us. Do we need glass or anything else? Let me just take a look here if there's anything else we should be building instead. Nothing's as bad as the tooling workshops. I mean, the, the, the tools are, are so bad. So we should really prioritize these in this area. And this will help urbanize in it as well. And give them work. Now we got an event about military railways. So being privy to the government's ambition to expand Japan's railways, the armed forces offered to support these efforts in Yangho. So that's one thing we haven't looked at is how bad uh, the current uh, infrastructure is. I'm sure that's a huge problem right now. Uh, so we can say an excellent collaboration between military and industry, and that would give us one railway in Yangho and increase the armed forces' political strength. And I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, this would irritate them and give us more legitimacy, which would be helpful. You know what? Nine years of more legitimacy is way better, actually, than one railway. Yeah, like, way better. So, you know what? Let's go with that. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. That almost has us to the next level if we just uh, didn't ha hadn't changed the taxes. Then, yeah, we'd be in a pretty good situation there. So, yeah, we need to solve the, the railway issues, which I assume are, are pretty bad. And we might want to go ahead and tick these up to the top. 
yeah, beyond all the other stuff they're working on right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll start with the, the places where it's the worst, which is right here. And how, many, how much does each of these grant? 15. So we're going to need quite a few of these. I guess one more. And then we'll do two here. And then this one's really bad. 83% doesn't seem like it's that bad, but it's actually really bad. And that's because of, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of these because of just how much they, they have. So that's not gonna be quite enough. Let's, we'll, we'll do one more and that's fine. We gotta get to these other locations too. You know, we should probably do the capital. Which is not, oops, not as short as some of these other locations. So we shouldn't have to do as many. All right, so that should be good for all these locations and then we'll do one here. And doing it that way, I ended up uh, ticking them all up to the top above. So it wasn't quite the order I wanted to have happen, but whatever, we, we got the railways building, that's what's important. But yeah, the, the cost of transportation is, is high, so that's gonna be helpful getting those. Engines is pretty expensive too. But what I'm most surprised with is electricity is not quite as high as I was expecting it to be. I was thinking electricity was gonna be ridiculous, but it's really not that bad. Uh, GDP is at 526 million now. And yeah, we're not gonna care about any of these conflicts. We do not need another war right now. Is this Italy? Yeah, this is a rebellion in Italy. Spain and Russia are helping the governments out. Oh, Quebec is completely free now. So Canada, which is just called Quebec here, has broken away. That's that uh, rebellion that we saw that the United States helped them with. So yeah, they no longer, they owe an obligation to the United States, but yeah, they're no longer under the British. Did the British get anything from that war? No, they just helped them become independent. So Canada is independent, though they're known as Quebec. World is changing out there, guys. While we're over here just focusing on our own little piece of the world. All kinds of major things are happening out there. Yeah, I feel like we could actually probably get even more construction. Let me just see where we're at. Well, we are depleting a ton of the investment pool at the moment. So probably shouldn't. Yeah, we'll just leave it as is. Now part of that, of course, is because we lost all that money from the capitalists. Because again, our, our uh, fascist Greece. So fascism has risen. There's an up, we never got that far in our US campaign where we actually saw fascism rise up. But yeah, severe uh, economic issues here right now, guys. So Austria-Hungary is actually dealing with that uh, fascist rebellion in Greece. And we got the trench works. So let's go ahead and switch up our barracks real quick and then we'll pick a new tech. Uh, of course, trench infantry is gonna cost us more ammunition, but that's okay. All right, so we'll switch all those up. And then let's go and get another tech selected. And I think it's gonna be, I know I said I was gonna get more uh, military techs, but you know, there's a lot of stuff we could really use here. And I think we're actually gonna let them finish this up because the uh, hard put output is something we've been having problems with. So we're gonna go to get that and then maybe come over, oh, we can also get that quicker by the way, cause we're getting the spread. And then maybe come over here and get electric railways, perhaps the automatic bottle blowers as well, getting more labor from the glass works. Cause remember we're building those in the, the islands. So that would be useful as well. That's how we're trying to get urbanization in those islands. Uh, we never did set these guys up here. Uh, we need to do all this. We need to incorporate the state here. So that's the only one that I want to incorporate right now, but let me just take a look and see how close we are to getting these other ones urbanized. Yeah, that one's already urbanized. So I think we'll go ahead and add them to, it is 20 years as well. So I almost feel like we should just urbanize all of this. Cause remember we're building the tooling workshops. They have a lot of labor here. Yeah, you know what guys, let's just do it. Let's just incorporate the whole, the whole entirety of Korea. Obviously that's gonna cost us some severe uh, bureaucracy issues as well. So we need to get more uh, government administration buildings too, which we already need to do that here. Cause as you can see, the uh, taxation is a problem in all these areas. Uh, also, it looks like we're having infrastructure problems here as well. Okay, so we need more railways here then. 
So let's go ahead and get them. Can't even see where they're at. Okay, yeah, they have some some serious problems due to the uh, devastation. So you know what? We should probably wait. Because, yeah, the, the main problem here is the, the devastation. So we don't really know how much they need there. So let's not. Let's not do that. Uh, let's go and take a look and see uh, where we need to... Yeah, it's so bad here that they are isolated. Because uh, the devastation is so bad. Like, all the roads and railways are all destroyed. It's pretty bad over there. I was trying to see if there's anywhere... Hmm, that's interesting that they're not sharing that with us. The taxation capacity. Clearly we have issues. I'm just missing it. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything about the uh, taxation issues, but we know we have taxation capacity problems. And that's not caused by turmoil. That's tax waste. Okay. Well, we know that we have it, so we'll go ahead and get it uh, fixed in those states where we do have problems, which looks like it's these two here at the very least. That one as well. And that one. Okay, so to fix this problem here, where we're now losing a lot of money because of that, uh, let's go ahead and get this these uh, government administration buildings done. So we'll do six here. This is not going to be anywhere near enough. And then uh, like nine there. I, don't, I think we need as many here. But I think we need a lot here. So that'll have to work for now. Obviously, this is costing us a ton of money. Our economy is just uh, wrecked at this moment. <laughs> it's doing horrible. Uh, we could go ahead and stop. Are we getting the full bonus here? Oh, yeah, we're getting the full bonus here. Because, yeah, we still have to burn off all that infamy. Sitting at 63 at the moment. So yeah, just crippling issues. Um, one thing we should do is take a look at what we're currently trading. Uh, also, we're not getting any of this here because they embargoed us, so we're just going to cut that off. But yeah, let's just go and take a look and see if there's anything that we're currently exporting. Yeah, like we're exporting porcelain, and we know porcelain's kind of a high price right now. Yeah, anything that we're currently exporting that's uh, you know something that we're short on or is really expensive. Let me just take a look. At the the cost, yeah, like sulfur's high in cost. So yeah, some of these we should definitely stop trading. Just want to see what we have plenty of. Okay, so we actually have plenty of uh, fine art right now because of the uh, the standard living drop, and that's what happened. Nobody has money for art due to how uh, messed up our, our country is at the moment. So probably shouldn't have cut this all off. That would cause some severe issues. We'd have too much sulfur. Uh, so let's go ahead and just cut off those two routes. And then I think the, the one route should be fine. So yeah, we'll keep this one, the, the big one, with Austria Hungary. So keep that. Um, iron, we are currently exporting. The price is a decent price for right now. So we'll go ahead and let them continue to export that. So continue importing the luxury clothes. Fabrics are fine. We can export that. We'll continue to import the luxury furniture. I think we're importing that, yeah. So we'll continue to do that. Uh, currently importing hardwood. I suppose we can leave that on for now. Just because it's so much. Yeah, I don't think we want to change it up at the moment. Uh, we can keep exporting the silk. That's fine. Obviously rubber. We always want to import rubber. Any other rounds? Yeah, that's it. All right, excellent. So that'll help the economy out a little bit. But yeah. Some severe issues over here, economically. I'm hoping we didn't build up the construction too much. Because as you can see, we are burning off that investment pool. But again, it's going to take so long to deplete that. Even at 300000 that's probably fine. Uh, by then, our economy will be in a completely different state. So it might actually be uh, in the positive again here. Hard to say. So yeah, I just need to just build. Just need to build, guys. We got a lot of stuff set up over here. It uh, looks like we're also short on authority. It's not causing too big of an issue yet. Might be something we want to change up eventually. But yeah, what do we do? Uh, I don't really want to change up the greener grass campaigns unless we have a good chunk of population here due to unemployed. Yeah, you can see we're, we're definitely doing a lot better. 
How urbanized did we get this area? Not very urbanized at all. We're at level one. I think we're actually a uh, higher level over here. So we might want to go ahead, because we have done such a good job urbanizing them, and incorporate them. Obviously, we can't do that. Well, they're still, they haven't finished this up yet. We have to wait until the colony's finished. Once it's done, I think we will attempt to incorporate them. Yeah, I'm just trying to complete this objective here. We just had so many difficulties doing. But yeah, once we uh, incorporate all Korea, that'll help. It won't be enough, but it'll definitely be higher. And so you incorporate them, incorporate over here, that'd be close to enough. But yeah, I don't think we'll get it done though. Because we've already seen that it takes 20 years to incorporate these. Or actually, you know what? It's saying 5. I thought it said 20. It's only 5 years. Okay. That's not that bad. So we can get that done fairly quick. But I think over here would take a extremely long time to incorporate. Due to the, the different cultures. Uh, how different their culture is to ours. Though I don't know what the cultures will be there by that point. Because how many of our own people have migrated over there by then? It's hard to say. Do much better on the money. Still short on the bureaucracy though, and I think we finished, yeah, we finished building all those. So I knew that we wouldn't uh, be completely done on that front, but let's just take a look. And yeah, we're not even using all our construction right now, so let me take a look and see how things are going here with the uh, capacity. So yeah, we're, we're good there. This one's not too bad. All right, so we're actually and the positive in most of the places is just down here that we're having some difficulty. All right, so let's go ahead and do the uh, the government administration buildings down here. So we're going to do five here, and then seven here, and then we also need to make sure that the railway situation. I don't know if we're still building railways. Looks like these are all tooling workshops. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more railways going. Just anywhere where we currently need them. Did these guys take any devastation? Let me just take a look and see if that... Yeah, they didn't get any devastation here. Yeah, because we did the naval invasion here, but they don't have devastation either. They do all have turmoil curse, of course, which causes the tax waste. And that's part of the reason why we're having so much money issues here. Okay. So this place does not have turmoil and has the infrastructure issue. Same thing here. So we want to get the railways in both of these locations. Then we'll get ourselves a tech selected here. Uh, hardwood should be in a better situation now. So yeah, we'll get these building. We're going to need a lot over here. Korea was not building railways for some reason. Uh, the construction sector building throughput is also really helpful. I'm glad we got that. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the... Hmm. I don't know if we're going to want to do the electric trains. This actually does add infrastructure here. You should, yeah, let's go ahead and do the electric railways then. That'll be 15 months to get that knocked out. And uh, we need to build more stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at our market. Uh, coal is still pretty expensive. Tools are getting better, but you've got a whole bunch of tooling workshops going, so not too worried about that. And we're not trading any, right? Let me just make sure we're not currently... Uh... Okay. I just want to make sure that we weren't trading too much. It looks like we're trading a little bit. I don't think we can stop that. Those are all uh, them trading for our stuff. I mean, we could uh, make them have to pay more for it, though. Protect domestic trade. But we're not going to do that. Yeah, I think it's fine if they trade for it. Would have step up production. Uh, so let's go and start with the. I almost feel like we should start with the ammunition because that's a something that we pay for, a government good. So yeah, we'll go and start with the ammunition here. There's the arms industries, ammunition plants. Here we go. And I think we're going to continue building here now that we now have a bunch of peasants. Those unemployed eventually become the peasants. It just takes time. So build like how, how bad is the shortage here? It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not really too bad, guys. So let's just go up by... I don't know. Go by 8, I suppose. So we'll start with that, and then definitely should get the, the coal next. Oh yeah, we're going to keep this paused until we're utilizing all this. So yeah, we'll definitely start with the coal next. 
And I think we're going to continue building here where we just have a huge uh, reserve of it and, and lots of peasants as well. And get like uh, 20 for right now. All right, so we're using all of our construction now. Truly workshop should drastically reduce that. Uh, there's no oil to be had, no rubber either. So, I mean, we're doing pretty good now. We fixed a lot of our issues already. That was, <laughs> it didn't take us all that long, honestly. That's uh, so not too bad. I'm going to get these sulfur mines next. I suppose we should probably get more coal than what I did there, guys. Because, yeah, it's, it's a massive difference here. <laughs> It's pretty bad. So yeah, let's go ahead and go with uh, more coal mines. And just go ahead and get the full, uh, build them up to the full level there. And we can also build here too. Clearly coal is a, a huge problem for us. And that's interesting that artillery is so expensive. So yeah, we're gonna wanna get the arms industry as well. I'm gonna step that up. And we'll continue building in our current location, I think. Get that uh, efficiency bonus, that throughput bonus. Glass is another thing we need, which uh, with the glass, we're gonna go ahead and continue building those in the colonies to get the urbanization up, as long as they have uh, labor. Though, another thing we need to take a look at, well, I guess we need the urbanization. Yeah, so we'll continue doing that. Even though there's like resources here that we could utilize None of these we absolutely have to get because we can at least like trade for all this kind of stuff. So yeah, I feel like you don't really have to get any of this while well, we do need to get those areas urbanized. So let's let's go and do that. We'll, we'll continue working on what we've been doing. Uh, the the glass works here and just building those as long as we have uh, any sort of labor in these areas. But you can see we actually do have quite a bit. And we're not using all of our production right now of our construction I mean so we're gonna get seven of these here I suppose or actually you know what let's go all the way up to nine we'll get nine of those there and we'll get like four of these here all right so we can now let it play and we'll get a couple over here and do like three just trying to get these locations urbanized yeah, and it's, it's almost an impossible task, but yeah, we'll try. We'll try and get her done. And I know I missed a couple places. Yeah, we can get a couple over here. And yeah, we can do a few over here as well. And is there any ones that I missed? We'll just let them work on that for now. So that'll help with the, the glass issues. Again, not anything we can do about the oil rigs, though there is a uh, plantation we can get. Uh, rubber plantation, so let's go make sure we tick that up to the top. Always trying to get that rubber whenever we can. The rubber prices might actually not be too bad. Yeah, really not too bad at the moment. And yeah, not bad at all. We might want to take advantage of that. And yeah, the, the coal just keeps on getting more expensive. So probably going to want to build like all of our coal up is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Let's go ahead and build. And you know, we'll build here as well. Yeah, just take advantage of like the majority of the... I mean, each one of these is, is not even producing that much. I mean, you're talking about 82. So you're going to need like a stupid amount of these to, to fix the issues. So frankly, building it all the way up still probably would result in shortages. So let's just build... I mean, we can only build so much here. Yeah, that's probably more than we can even handle at the moment. So we're actually going to step that down. Yeah, they don't have enough labor to justify what I just did there. So we need to uh, bring that down some on the uh, the coal mines. Uh, because they have the labor here, they've got a total of 26,000. So yeah, let's step that down some. And what is this about? Oh, it's a Greek conflict. Apparently the Ionian Islands are independent. Let's see what's going on over here in Europe. Russia still has not formed Germany. Uh, Austria-Hungary has a big chunk of northern Italy at the moment. Of course, she had Scandinavia form quite some time ago. All right, and what's going on over here? Is America at war? 
Looks like it. And they're currently losing. All right, so they're fighting the Russians at the moment, along with uh, Spain and Italy. Are they actually losing that conflict? Yeah, they're losing that conflict. What is it over? Like, what are they going to have to give up? Oh, okay, so they got involved with this. Okay, that's the the situation in Italy. I see. Which they've already finished that up. Uh, we're back in the positive, finally. So that's excellent news. So that's looking pretty good. A lot of radicals still, but again, most of those are over here in Korea. I still got a lot of loyalists. And so because they're on Korea, we're not actually like affecting our uh, interest groups or anything like that. So no, no issues with that. It's not a huge problem. Uh, we're not using any of our construction. That's probably why we're in the positive, isn't it? Uh, so let's go ahead and get some stuff building. Uh, so yeah, we need to get more railways building. And it looks like we're still building in some locations, but not these ones here. And you know, we should probably just build a bunch in these because we're building all the uh, coal mines here. So we'll just get a bunch of these. And these guys could also be having the issues still with the, let me just double check on this, with the devastation. Yeah, that's still reducing the infrastructure by a bit. And so this is gonna get better. We'll wait until the devastation is completely gone there. This is the only state in Korea with the devastation at the moment. Oh, we never used all that uh, production. We still got a bunch of production we could do. Uh, how are we doing on our total uh, convoys? Looks like we have quite a bit. And apparently that's not profitable, so we'll just go and cancel that. All right, so let me just take a look at our, our cheap goods here. So small arms could be traded away. Let's go ahead and do that. Set up an export route here, although it looks like they're all going to be crappy small routes. But yeah, we do need more convoys, guys. So we should probably build some ports. Yeah, these are all going to be small. It's not even point of doing this, really. Uh, but yeah, let's go and get some, some ports going. And might get those over here since I don't even have any ports here yet. Yeah, so we'll build a few ports. There's maybe a couple in each of these. So we'll get some ports going. And let's see what... I mean, that's not really enough, is it? I suppose we'll build with uh, whoever has the highest labor available, which looks like it's right here. And here. So we'll get a few more ports going there. Now it looks like meat could be traded. So I'm going to start an export route for meat. Although, again, it's kind of crappy routes here, of small, tiny routes. So it's uh, difficult to really. Yeah, you just have to set up so many routes. Uh, fruit could be exported as well. Yeah, these are all just tiny little routes. We'll just do the ones that are profitable. Maybe they'll grow in size. And I think that's probably good for now. Coal's still the issue, but we're we're working on that. We're getting a lot of the coal going now. We got some some oil we can get. Oh, okay. They didn't have oil before. We must have just discovered that. All right, excellent. We're gonna go ahead and take advantage of all that. Get all that oil there. So yeah, we'll get all the oil there, and. I suppose we want to keep doing the, the coal wherever we can. Though, of course, we've already built here. They do have more labor, but I'm wondering if they just haven't gotten those employed yet. Yeah, that's what it looks like, so we should probably wait. So we might have to actually trade. Yeah, we're going to have to trade for some. We do not have enough. So, yeah, we're going to have to import. And unfortunately, these are all tiny little import routes. Jeez, man. We'll do them all. All the ones that are profitable. But yeah, not many options here, guys. So coal's just going to be expensive. But we've at least got it down some. Already working on the oil currently. Uh, wood, we actually have something we can do with the wood now. The logging camp's over here. Yeah, they've got a ton of options over here. So yeah, let's go ahead and build up on the wood. Oh, we got an event there. I guess we'll take a look at it real quick. Captured light and shadow. Uh, so the interest in pho photographic arts throughout Japan has spawned many artistic movements experimenting with the technology. 
So we can say this should be the new tool of news reporters everywhere, and we'll get a plus 20% technology spread for society. That'd be helpful. Uh, instead, we can get a migration attraction. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Or progress towards film. Let's do the migration attraction. Let's get more people coming here. I know that we no longer really have the labor issues that we were having before, but we'll burn through this labor pretty quick with all that we're doing now. All right, so yeah, just stepping up production of wood. So we'll do that all through here. Because I think we we're actually trading for wood. So yeah, it would be useful to just take advantage of all this wood here. That's not in the uh, the islands out, out there. All right, excellent. So got that taken care of. And you know what? Uh, if we can get glass, we will. We can. Uh, we also need more power. Let's bring the cost of power down. Almost everybody is using power at this point because of us changing all those production methods up. So this would help everybody. I mean, obviously not the power plants because making it cheaper wouldn't be beneficial to those. And you know, I think we're just gonna go up to like 55 here and then start building somewhere else. Yeah, we're not doing that. Let's actually go and declare neutrality here. We don't care about any of these European conflicts. Yeah, things are going pretty good throughout our country. I think we're gonna go ahead and get Power plant started over here now. All right. So to bring the, the cost of electricity down, we do need to get the motor industries as well. So we're gonna step these up here and you know, let's actually go up a little bit higher here. It's nice having all this extra labor now. And it seems that we're having some problems with ironclads. Are we uh, trading ironclads though? Let me just take a look here, make sure we're not. I could have swore we, we traded it sometime in the past. Looks like that's a no. Or, well, we might have done it in the past, but we're not doing it anymore. That's what the point is. Okay, so no issue there. I did want to take a look and see if there's any more. I guess rubber's not that big of an issue. Yeah, we'll just wait on looking at rubber. Because rubber's not as big of a problem at this moment. So it's the uh, ironclads that we need. So let's go ahead and get the, the shipyards. And we're gonna continue to build those here where we get that uh, bonus. Let's get about five more of those. All right, guys. So we're in 1912 currently. We'll go ahead and let it play until we get into 1913. Get through this year here. And uh, there are some pretty popular movements here. For property women, for instance. Wouldn't probably want to work on, yeah, I don't really want to work on laws at this moment. Looks like we still need more uh, bureaucracy too. All right, so this is going to be the last thing we do. Uh, we won't get the 1913. We'll just stop here in December 3rd, 1912. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and change up these production methods, guys. So we're going to change these up and, and see what the, the change on our, our cost are. Uh, so the first is the motor industries. So we can now switch over to the electric engines. That'll result in us producing a ton more engines. In fact, so much more that we probably don't need. Hmm. But some of these will actually make use of engines, I think. Or is it all electricity? That will be more engines. All right, so we're just going to switch over to it. Uh, next is all going to be in the rural area here. So we're looking at logging camps first. See if we want to switch over to the rail log carts. I require more transportation, but less labor, so I think we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, we'll definitely go over to that. And then the fishing wharfs and welling stations, another thing we, we most certainly want to switch over to. So we'll do that. And then the railway. We'll switch over to the electric trains. That means we won't need as much coal. That would be so helpful because coal is a problem for us. Instead, we'll make use of engines, which is great because we're now producing more engines, and then the electricity. Uh, also, we'll produce uh, more transportation, and uh, look at all that infrastructure we're going to get. So that's going to be great. So huge uh, bonuses there for us. And then the next thing that we're going to do is probably the automatic bottle blowers. Could also get the electric arc process. But I want to do this because these are in our islands. And so... Uh, Reducing the amount of laborers we need for the glassworks would be really helpful for those those locations. All right, so you know we took over Korea. Uh, it, it 
caused a, a huge number of problems in our country, but we're, we're starting to get those sorted out. Uh, we're back in the positive here. In fact, we could, because we have so much, uh, well, actually we're in, we're in debt right now. I was going to say, because we have so much that we're earning, we could look at whether or not we want to change taxes again, but uh, we are, are still in debt. 599,000 in debt. So we should run off that first. Still have some bureaucracy issues that we'll have to get fixed. Authority's a little low, but I'm not too concerned about that, honestly. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. As far as the urbanization, level two there, level one. Obviously, those ones, we can't do anything with them just yet. But the islands here, still not great. And at least we got up to level one in some of these. But yeah, overall, it's... It's not great, guys. So still a lot of work to, to get them urbanized. Like I said, though, I think the key is going to be uh, incorporating these ones. Yeah, this will really help us out quite a bit, which is going to be three years uh, to get that done. Uh, but even that probably won't be enough. I'd have to do the math and see exactly how many states we have, but yeah, I don't see that being enough. Uh, with those changes that we just did, electricity is now really expensive, as is steel. Let me just see if uh, coal... Has gotten too cheap. No, coal's still pretty expensive. All right, so that's fine. We're still building all those railways, though. And so now the question is, do we actually need those? Yeah, you can see that the uh, price of transportation is pretty low. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if we're not having as many market access issues. But I don't know. Still seeing some problems here. Probably let them complete all those railways. It's fine. The logging camps, yeah, those are, are fine. We're, we're already doing power plants. All right, excellent. We're also doing those motor industries. So all those are going to be necessary and helpful. But we have not done anything for the steel yet. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And then, yeah, that'll be the last thing that we do here, guys. Let's go ahead and move up. Uh, by like, I don't know, 12. 12 here. I'm going to make use of some of the construction we weren't using. Yeah, we still have a little bit more, so we'll have to get some more stuff producing. We'll have to do that next episode, though. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you guys on the next episode, where we'll continue to try and catch up to Austria-Hungary and their massive GDP. They're sitting at $787 million. They're climbing up fast. Obviously, still not as rapid as we are, but we're still well behind them, and both of us have left everybody else way behind. China has like half of what we do. Uh, United States has like a third of what we have. So yeah, nobody's even close to us in, in Austria-Hungary. And then look at that population as well. We're now the fourth most populous country in the world just behind Austria-Hungary, India, and China. Yeah, we even dwarf France and, and Britain now. So a lot of people now that we brought in all those, those Koreans. Of course, again, we did lose a bit of literacy and uh, standard of living. But yeah, I think we're, we're doing pretty good now, guys. Uh, still, obviously, I have to clean up some of these problems here, but uh, we're doing a good job getting it done. So yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.